Weather. I have loved the weather since I was age four, since it was cool to wear shoulder pads when I was an intern at, I, at uh, NBC10 in Philly. And tonight, I want to tell you a few weather concepts that will make you go wow, and also some uh, misconceptions and clear them up. So the first thing is taxes. Thanks for paying them, because they pay for the billion dollar satellites, the million dollar radars, and the million dollar supercomputers. It's mostly our tax dollars at work. And those tax dollars also fund hurricane hunters. Amazingly, humans fly planes into hurricanes to make forecasts 15% better, and we've only lost one plane in 60 years. Incredible work. Now let's move on to snow, a personal favorite of mine. The first snowflake classifications were done in Japan in 1837, improved upon by a photographer in Vermont in the late 1800s, and then the seminal book was written in 1954 by Dr. Uh, Nikaya. Snow comes in many varieties. It depends on temperature along the bottom, it depends on moisture uh, along the left, and for powder skiers, that big snowflake in the top middle Stellar dendrite, that one's for you. Now here in Boulder, we have some amazing weather, downslope windstorms. It's like water going over a rock in a stream and creating a wave, but for here, that wave is 140 mile an hour winds. That's the top speed that was recorded in 1992. Let this sink in for a second. Boulder gets 55% less precipitation than where a lot of us came from back east. Think about that when you make decisions around landscaping and other things. Now, where does that precipitation come from? It comes from clouds. Clouds are not water vapor. Water vapor is invisible. Clouds are actually liquid water, the puffy clouds on the left, or ice crystals, the high wispy thin cirrus clouds on the right. Now, everybody thinks, oh, if these clouds are around, let's wait 15 minutes and they'll go away. Guess what? Everybody in every place in the country thinks that's their unique slogan. It's not. There is unique, unique weather everywhere. So let's go to some Hollywood misconceptions. Hollywood gets some things right. But they also get some things wrong. The inconvenient truth didn't realize potentially that uh, hurricanes spin counterclockwise in the northern hemisphere. So we'll say that this uh, was a storm in the southern hemisphere. A personal favorite of mine in the movie Twister, they got wrong. Do not hide under a bridge during a tornado. Get underground or at least get into the lowest place that you can. Under a bridge is not a good spot. Also in Twister, they came up with this idea of evil storm chasers. <laughs> there, there just aren't evil storm chasers. We're out for the science for the fun, but there's, there's no uh, antagonist out there. So from <laughs> to the absurd, El Nino is not Chris Farley. Unfortunately, it is warm water off the coast of South America. It changes every year. It is called El Nino because it often comes around Christmas time, the Christ child. Now, speaking of storms, we thought humans, we're good at stuff. Let's try to break up hurricanes. We try this in the 60s, 70s, and 80s. It doesn't work. We just can't stop storms. They're too powerful. But what we can do is actually predict them, and although everybody makes fun of us for predicting badly, the error of our predictions have actually decreased by about half over the last 40 years. Incredible. Why? Two reasons. One, better data. First image on the left is the first image ever taken of weather from space. On the right, just last week, Hurricane Florence. Better data also we have a trillion times more computing power now than 60 years ago to harness all that data. So now, then people ask me, well, we have good models now, but with climate change and warming, are the forecasts going to get worse? No, because the laws of physics do not change. And in fact, the forecasts will likely continue to get better as we have more data. So a local misconception is people saying, well, I'm just going to look at my phone radar app and see exactly where it's going to be snowing. And, or raining. Now, raining in the summer, it works great, but radar, the beam gets blocked by mountains in the winter and doesn't always see all of the snow. And you say, well, that's a bummer. It is, but our good government stewards of our money put the radars on the west slope and the east slope to cover most of the uh, people, leaving the mountains uncovered. But that's a pretty good decision uh, with our tax dollars. The last thing, you don't need a weather center on the left to do weather, that's me on the right, on a laptop, on a smartphone. You can, do, you can be amazed at the weather anywhere. There's only one thing you have to do. 
keep paying your taxes so the data keeps flowing. Thank you very much.